GCSE Biology, syllabus section 4.2, and here we're discussing the use of quadrats to estimate the population size of organisms in two different areas. The image presented is of a sand dune ecosystem. Like all ecosystems, it's made up of a number of populations which form the community and the habitat as shown. Notice also that in this image there is a fence line running here and this splits the sand dune area into a region on this side which is grazed by cattle and this side which is ungrazed. There is no cattle grazing here. So we have two different areas within an ecosystem and we could choose to study the populations on side A and side B and one of the first things that we could do is to count the number of individuals in the population. The technique that we'll look at is called quadrating. Quadrat, as the name suggests, are based on squares. These squares can be made of any material including wood, string and metal and they form a square grid. Typically the size of these grids would be half a meter on one side, half a meter on the other side, up to grids which may even be one meter by one meter. The quadrat is used to sample the area so we would take samples from area A and count the number of in individuals inside our grid here. This would be repeated a number of times to gain an estimate of the population size. More details in 4.3. Quadrats are a method of sampling different locations so that populations can be compared in the two different locations.